three, two, one. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I'm doing another Trader Joe's. Hey everybody, so like I said, today I'm doing another Trader Joe's wine. It's uh, the Trader Joe's Charles Shaw Blend from Bronco Wine Company, 2014 California Merlot. It is $2 per bottle. Yes, that's right, $2 per bottle at your local Trader Joe's, and it is 12.5% alcohol by volume. So, Let's check this out. No screw top, and once again, Trader Joe's, you need to fix that. That's a problem. Uh, but from a color standpoint, you know, it's kind of a dark red. It, I, I'm gonna call that it doesn't really have much of a heavy body to it. Um, at 12.5, it, it's probably not. I'm actually surprised it's a 2014, to be quite honest. Uh, I'm actually really surprised a lot of the Trader Joe's wines are just a couple years old. Uh, I would expect almost of them to be like no vintage wines, just throw them in a bottle and go. But apparently they've found a way to mass produce wines and actually keep them in the bottles for a couple years and it's not that bad. So from, yeah, so from a color perspective, dark red, no cloudiness, no artifacts. Yeah. From a no standpoint, I'm getting a lot of dark fruit. Um, I'll rewind back. I'm getting some dark fruit. I'm getting what smells like blackberry. Might be a little bit of a hint of blueberry. Some, some dark plum. So, uh, yeah, so from on the nose, I'm getting, I'm getting plum, I'm getting blackberry, and I'm getting a little bit of blueberry. Just a little bit of blueberry. Uh, no oak, though. Uh, from a taste standpoint, okay, it's slightly metallic. Like aluminum. But it, you are getting, hello, Doug. Uh, you are getting some of that plum. It's actually a lot of plum, a little bit of blackberry, not getting into the blueberry that I saw, that I smelled. And aluminum pole. I'm getting aluminum pole in there. So, from a rating perspective, Trader Joe's Charles Shaw Blend from Bronco Wine Company, 2014 California Merlot. I am gonna give you an okay. I mean, it's, to be quite honest, I'm gonna give you okay borderline bad. It needs more body. Uh, it needs to have a little bit more of those dark fruits that I, I like uh, for Merlot's. Um, and the aftertaste needs to not taste like I'm licking a swing set. So, I mean, uh, uh, but I mean, for $2, uh, I really have had worse Merlot's. But it's, it, I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way on this one at all. So uh, while some of the Trader Joe's ones I've reviewed so far have been pretty decent, this one's okay. Getting close to the bordering on bad. But who knows? Maybe, um, I just don't know. Who knows? Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had... The tra I'm not gonna go through it over yet. Have you hit Trader Joe's two buck Merlot? Uh, let me know if you have, leave a comment below, and I will see you guys again with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, I don't know, maybe licking a swing set should be added to my thousand things to lick vlog. Hey everybody, so this is the outro. I hope you liked today's video, and if you did, make sure you subscribe. Uh, that definitely helps me continue to grow my channel, uh, as well as your comments and likes and dislikes and hitting that notification bell. Also, you can take a look at that video because YouTube says you'll like it and you can, you can trust that, right?